Florida PSM exam Q&A review. Question number nine. There are some states which are diehard Republicans, and there are some states which are diehard Democrats. Now, if my gut feeling serves me correctly, it seems like most of Florida kind of leans a little Republican. And when the Republican legislature and or the Republican governor gets put in place, then they start working to lower cost, the cost of living, the cost of regulation, because Republicans hate regulation. And this question was actually put in in the original Florida Acts and Rules, and it's put in place so that the Florida board cannot charge whatever it darn well pleases to become a surveyor. The call of the question states, and this is a short one, the initial license fee shall not exceed blank dollars. The initial license fee shall not exceed blank dollars. This is one of those questions where you either know it or you don't. And if you're smart and if you don't know it, then what you should do is you, sh you should go searching for the answer. There's a big push in many states. My former alma mater, New Mexico State University, sent me a notice last year saying that the New Mexico governor is trying to make it easier for land surveyors from other states to come to New Mexico. And I love that. Well, Florida kind of did the same thing. But instead of transferring your license, Florida set a cap or a maximum dollar amount in which it costs to become a land surveyor in Florida. If you've already paid this fee as part of your licensing process, then you may already know. But this is actually a fee that you will pay after you pass all your exams. So you pay your application fee, you pay your exam fee, and once you pass all of your exams, then you have to pay a fee called the initial licensure fee. And that fee, is either 50, 100, 200, or $500. Now I'm a cynic, so I am going to immediately cross off the 50 bucks because I know, I mean, I can just feel it in my bones that the Florida board is gonna clip me for more than 50 bucks. And 500 bucks seems kind of excessive, but you know, here I go again, I'm, you know, not even looking at the answer, I'm just kind of starting to guess. So gut feeling, I'm going to cross off 50 and 500. But instead of guessing, instead of going with your gut feeling, which I am guilty of doing all the time, I am going to recommend that you go to the statute. And if you're dealing with the licensure, examination, re-examination, or continuing education of a surveyor, all of those things, I immediately think of chapter 472, because 472 really regulates you, the land surveyor, and it also regulates the board of land surveying as well. Like freebies? Subscribe to the NLC YouTube channel for free course previews, weekly how-to videos of actual questions, and lots more. Just click subscribe below. Make sure to click the bell next to subscribe to be notified of new video releases. So I'm going to pull up my 472 and just start paging. And very, very quickly, in the first couple of pages of 472, I find this. And it says 472-001 fees. Paragraph three, the initial license fee shall not exceed $200. It's as simple as that, folks. You read your question, anticipate your answer, go to the act or rule or statute which you think is the most likely place to find the correct answer, and then you find it. So the correct answer choice here is C. $200. Want even more content for the Florida PSM exam? Join me for a complete online prep course that includes videos, handouts, workbooks, practice questions, and a full-length practice exam. This course has everything you need to pass the Florida PSM exam on the first try. Join us at nlcprep.com PSM for more information.